Ladies and gentlemen, we are going live and we're talking to you from the comfort of this beautiful hotel room. So, my Facebook friends, if you can hear me, if the volume level is okay, then give me a thumbs up. That's how I know if you leave a comment, it is how I uh, am aware that you can even get a good feed in here because the Wi-Fi up in this hotel, the worst, the worst ever. Uh, we just had an amazing show in San Jose, California. They have been warning us in the news that the coronavirus is going to kill everybody. Well, not only are they incorrect, but they are misinforming you because we had one heck of a show. 300 people showed up. Nobody got sick. And just to take extra precaution, we wiped everybody's hands on the way in and we wiped their hands on the way out. Anyone who is over the age of 70 is encouraged to stay home and we will send you comedy clips from the show so you don't have to go without. Isn't that nice? Also, we're going to do a few other things in order to make sure we are taking the utmost precautions but still get to do comedy. What are the things you ask? Well, I'll tell you. We are going to make sure the shows are not too packed. Yeah, when they said that any group, large arenas and stadiums are not safe, I said, I'm your guy. I'm the number one dude because I'm only half Persian. My shows are half as busy as everybody else's. It's not safe to see Kevin Hart. Do not go see Dave Chappelle. You're putting yourself at great risk. Uh, Bill Burr, yeah, right. Okay? You really want to go there? Joe Rogan, what, are you trying to kill yourself? You come see Kayvon. Just as funny. The tickets are half the price. Your exposure is 10% of what it would be at one of those huge venues. I mean, it's the only real choice, people. So I'm here to save your life. Now, what cities am I going to? While all your favorite shows are canceling around the U.S., I've been adding small shows, 100-seater shows, in every city. Here they are. 326, Washington, D.C. 329, Philadelphia, get you a cheesesteak. 44, Sacramento. 45, San Francisco. April 29th, Tampa. And May 31st, Boston, then San Diego and Orange County are in there too. So, you want to go to those shows? Since you are brave and you're not staying in fear watching MSNBC getting scared, I'm going to give everyone watching buy one, get one free tickets. We want to show these comedy clubs that they made the right choice by not canceling all the shows. All the colleges are canceling, all the private events, all my charities. And uh, the landlord's like, you still got to pay me, bro. So what I want to do is I want you guys to come. If you're healthy, you're feeling good, as long as you don't have a cold, we're going to sanitize your hands. We're going to wash your mouth. I might brush your teeth when you arrive. We'll do whatever we got to do. We will put, here we go, Farnaz has, if you have any suggestions, put it in the comments. Farnaz Mohajer says, we will put one meter space between each guest. I have no problem with that. See, I get nice small venues. We have a great time, but we can put three feet between each guest and if you want some plastic I'll wrap you in plastic if you want you just got to come to that show I'll put you want me to put a condom on you you want me to do that what you want me to do you tell me you guys come up with whatever safety items you want put it in the <laughs> comments and I just might be whipping that out and providing it at the next show to show how much I care about my fans my customers my family my friends who have supported me since day one so if you're tuning in late, just to recap, I'll do it very quickly. DC, Philly, SAC, San Francisco, Tampa, and back. Boston, San Diego, and then you can find me somewhere else on kvon.tv. Diane Fulmer says, Kayvon, do you promise to wrap me in plastic if I come to your show? If you come to the show and you hold up some plastic, I'll look at you and be like, is that Diane? That's Diane in the crowd. I'll jump off the stage and I'll wrap plastic around you. Okay, I won't do your face because you're going to die. But let's take a moment and recap which comedian was wearing masks since day one. 2012, I started wearing masks on planes because I was getting sick on every other flight. Every other flight, sore throat, like, ah, I'm trying to perform. So your boy went and picked up a bunch of these. They should have sponsored me. I was wearing these since 2000. 12. People looking at me like an idiot. I had this on right here. Now, Eric can get in here and here, 
But think how much sneezing, right? How much did that just block? At least 75%. I'm reducing my chances 75% of those spittle. It might go into my eyes, but <laughs> something I should tell you, when I fly, I fly like this, okay? I fly like this because I like to sleep, all right? Now you're telling me this is 85% reduction in virus contamination. This has kept me from getting sick for about seven years. I get sick here and there now, like once every seven, eight months. But I am not getting sick every other flight like I was in 2011 and 12. So you're talking to the safest comedian that's ever flown. And nobody recognizes me when I fly like this. I hesitate to do this live because now everyone's like, that could be Kayvon. And you're going to go mess with other people. And it's like probably a good chance it's me, but you never know. So if you like my flying outfit, I see lots of happy faces and hearts. That's what I've been doing. When people were complaining, oh my God, they're taking all the masks. I already had 40 masks at home because I just have them. I have them. I'm not hoarding toilet paper. I already have toilet paper, okay? You can also take soap and water and you can wash everything with that too. So you message me and you say, Kayvon, I watch your live. I'm not scared. I know I'm going to survive. And I'm giving all of you a buy one, get one free ticket to DC, Philly, Sac, San Francisco, Tampa, and Boston. We want to show these comedy clubs that they made the right choice by not canceling. Because look, they could easily cancel everything and we just sit in fear watching the news. That's what the news wants us to do. Because the news gets paid the more people sit at home and watch. So you're going to listen to those idiots or you're going to live your life. No one under the age of 70 that hasn't already been immunocompromised has died from the disease. This disease came from China. Most of the people that had the outbreak are Chinese or in China right now. They've been quarantined. I guess Italy had a pretty bad outbreak. They've been quarantined. And Iran has seen a lot of it. And then it's just been popping up here and there. But they've canceled my cruise ships. They've canceled my comedy gigs. They've canceled my college gigs. That's 90% of the gigs I do. So I called some comedy clubs. I go, are you still open? They said, yes, we'll keep it 100 people or less. We'll seat everybody a little bit apart. We'll wipe their hands with the Clorox wipe on the way in. We'll wipe them on the way out. And if anyone's sick, we ask you to just stay home. We're going to take pictures and videos, and we will send you a little bit of a live feed so you can watch the jokes from the comfort of your home. How about that? If you think what I said is fair, give me a thumbs up. If you think what I said is a good idea, give me a thumbs up. And if you want some free tickets, then just message me on in the comments here and just tell me what city you're looking to come to. Because some of those tickets aren't even on sale yet. We just came up with this plan. It's called the Corona versus Comedy Tour. Corona versus comedy. I'm going to war, baby. We're going to see who comes out of this thing alive. And I'm going to kick Corona's ass. Guaranteed. So with that said, folks, thank you for tuning in. Uh, San Jose, you guys were amazing. All of you who came, all ages show. It's Persian New Year, and you're supposed to be celebrating, not living in fear. So we did that. We handed out those wipes. We Clorox people. We laughed. We gave away free stuff. And those people had a great time. And there was like a lot of like, like, like I'm, this is not, I shouldn't say this, but there was like regular white people there. There was Persian people. There were Mexicans. So I was doing all these Persian jokes because during Persian New Year, I really go hard, you guys. If you want to hear some kebab jokes, some, you know, cologne jokes, Mercedes BMW jokes, this is the tour. Don't come on my regular comedy like, why you didn't do more the Persian joke? The one I see on the internet, I wanted to hear that the Persian. That's the joke that I wanted to hear. This is your chance. You wheel your aunt out of her cave. You say, aunt, we're going to go for one hour to cave on show. It's all ages. And you let her watch the Persian jokes. Because at my regular show, you'll be surprised. I do like five Persian jokes. And then 95% of the material is just American stuff. But this... These shows I just said, DC, Philly, SAC, San Francisco, those are going to be 90% Persian. And if you're not Iranian, you're still going to laugh. Because look at me. Hilarious. All right, I'm going to read this. Shout out to Rochelle Scott. Thanks for watching. 
uh, Ellie Mirza. Hello. You know my middle name is Mirza. Good advice, Kayvon. Your mask looks amazing. Kayvon, what's your favorite snack? Brought to you by Almonds. Shout out to Crazy Cindy. She puts on great shows in Hollywood. Check her out. Brie Wallace, what's up? Kayvon, you should provide a mask at every show. We're working on that, actually. Don't be talking about my merch. We're working on that. Come to the UK. We are immune to disease. If you bring me to the UK, I will come. I'm one of the few comedians who's, who's still traveling right now. The rest are canceling all their shows. Kayvon, come to Phoenix. I would love to. I was just there six months ago. Uh, Kayvon, you should come and have a Middle Eastern pilot fly you here. Oh, okay. Folks, I do hope we sell out. Thank you for saying that, Anthony. He says, I hope all your shows sell out. We're going to keep them small but fun, and we're just going to add shows. So let's say 100 people come. That's it. We're going to add a late show. We're going to Clorox all the chairs, and you're going to come. Safety first. We're going to laugh. Goodbye. See you next time. Peace.